ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have an amazing development in the Yu-Gi-Oh! gaming community. Chamberlain, of all things, has just won Worlds in Japan. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Chamber, of all things, a deck that is not very close to my heart, but is the trolliest deck of all time, has just won Worlds Dragon Duels version. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Avery here. Wanted to make a video super, super quick talking about Chamber winning Worlds 2017. Now, as you know, there are Dragon Duels, and then there are also the uh, regular matches. Now, in the regular matches, I believe something like Yang Zing won and came in first place. However, however, um, in Dragon Duels, it's obviously a younger audience. Well, the kid that came in first place is like 11, 12 years old. He came in first place with Chamber, and apparently he was running cards like Dice Jar and Balance of Judgment, and I just kind of wanted to talk about it real quick. Um, Balance of Judgment is an okay card. Um, the problem with Balance of Judgment, in case you don't know what it does, if your opponent controls more cards than the combined number of cards in your hand, and that you control, draw cards equal to their surplus. You can only activate one Balance of Judgment per turn. Um, basically, if you have less cards on the field and in your hand than your opponent, you draw cards until you have the same number of cards, basically, that they possess in your hand. So, it can be okay, it's not the best card, it can be kind of, uh, inconsistent and bricky and then apparently he was running this card called dice jar i don't even know what this thing does but it's a flip effect both players roll a six-sided die the player with the lower result takes damage equal to their opponent's roll times 500 however if the winner rolled a six the loser takes six thousand damage if the rolls are the same both players roll again Eh, it's it's so iffy like i wouldn't even play that it just Dice Jar seems way too iffy, um, and maybe the kid will post a deck profile of his, and you also have to keep in mind, too, that Worlds is a very different meta, so Dice Jar might actually be kind of decent in a format like Worlds, but I'm not playing Dice Jar to, just to hit you for 6,000. We were never playing Dice Jar to make the opponent lose 6,000 life points, um... And then he was also playing Magician of Faith. Uh, again, I feel like that's just too slow. I feel like Masterpiece can just kind of blow cards like that out of the water. Same with Dice Jar. Although, if I remember correctly, I believe Masterpiece was banned for this event. So, that's also a fact that you have to take into effect. But, regardless, you guys, I just want to make a quick news video for you. That uh, <laughs> the world's Dragon Duels, at least was won by Chamber, <laughs> and I just woke up, and I feel like I'm dreaming, <laughs> so if you guys are happy about this, leave a like um, to everyone who's going to be buying out Chamber, come subscribe to my channel, you can see all the deck lists that I post on this channel, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm glad I jumped on the Chamber train when I did for my channel, because who knows, maybe this will help boost uh, my subscriber count on my channel, anyway, thank you guys for watching, as always, and subscribe if you've not already.